Greetings fellow men, servus Männer, this is Red Pill Germany again and now it is almost 10 o'clock here. Of course the first estimates of the um, outcome of this year's election are in. The uh, votes are being counted right now but I think the result has been converging uh, now so that it's safe to say what the outcome will be. Yeah, Angela Merkel's party, the CDU, is again the strongest party in the Bundestag with dramatic losses though. The SPD, the Social Democratic Party under Martin Schulz also lost quite a bit so that Angela Merkel's party is now a little bit over 30 percent and um, the SPD, the Socialists, um, a little bit over 20 percent. The third strongest party that was the result that everyone was waiting for, the third strongest party is in fact the new conservative party, the AFD the Alternative for Deutschland, the alternative for Germany, just a four-year-old party. And this is met with uh, quite a hype here in Germany. You can see all the hyperventilation in left-winged um, block newspapers saying that our oh, neo-Nazis are now in the Bundestag and extreme right-wing party now in the parliament, danger, 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 right? Now what was a little bit surprising to me is that the Liberal Party uh, made it into the Bundestag again, the FDP, um, also pretty strong, and the Green Party and the Communist Party, the party of the former uh, Soviet Republic of Eastern Germany after some name changes. Yeah, but it's still pretty much the same party, the same old Stalinist party, and uh, yeah, 10% of the voters still think that we should have Stalinism in Germany. But these are the typical kinds of people who never work productively, you know, all these teachers who believe in global warming, they vote for the Green Party, and all these government officials who still, you know, served under the Soviet uh, Union, uh, they vote for the left-wing party, right? And some indoctrinated youths, of course. Now another thing that really surprised me and that I almost can't believe now is that Martin Schulz of the Social Democrats said that he does not want to have an, another big coalition, so another black red coalition basically between Angela Merkel CDU and the Social Democrats. Now it is a little bit understandable because they cannot really attack Merkel because they have been part of the government, part of the ruling coalition, but at the same time they are the junior partner and they have to sell out their uh, traditional working class voters of course and um, they always shrink when they're in a big coalition with Merkel. So now he says he wants to go into the opposition and become the strongest opposition party. Well, that is actually a coward's move because he avoids responsibility as the second biggest party and together they just have a little bit over 50% which is necessary to form the, the stable majority government coalition. Even more surprisingly, um, he wants to stay the head of the party. Now that is actually surprising and I hope that the Social Democrats will not allow this madman to stay at the helm of the party after losing an election and announcing that he will go into opposition now. What a coward move. So the only other coalition, because no one wants to have a coalition with the AFD of course, the only other coalition would be the so-called Jamaica coalition. That means it is Angela Merkel, CDU, CSU and together with the Liberal Party that is yellow and the Green Party which is of course green and the colors uh, black, yellow, green makes then kind of the national flag of Jamaica. Yeah? Which is actually interesting because for the FDP, the Liberal Party, the Green Party are a bunch of uh, tree-hugging commies and for the Green Party, the FDP is a bunch of neoconservative yuppies or borderline Nazis actually. So I wonder how Angela Merkel can forge a coalition with those two parties. Now of course if you throw in a lot of money and positions in power, they can be tamed of course, that has always worked, but it will be very easy to uh, draw a wedge between them and to make them start fights and argue within the coalition. But nothing is decided yet and I'm sure if we don't see some kind of a revolution in the Social Democratic Party and the continuation of the um, big coalition, forming this Jamaica coalition will take some time so we cannot really uh, estimate to have a stable new 
government anytime soon. This will take a while. And this is actually what some people uh, predicted or what they suggested might happen. There is a slight possibility that because of the fact that no one wants to have a coalition with the AFD, just numerically, the number of options is limited. And we would head towards some kind of uh, an Italian scenario where many parties, like three in this case, would have to form coalitions, which would be then very unstable and fluctuate over time, which means we could actually see that this coalition would not have a full term of four years, but we will have actually early elections after let's say one and a half or two years, and then the result might look differently. But now I really want to say congratulations to all the members and helpers of the AFD for um, yeah, performing so great and for having such a great campaign. They really work their butts off and um, they put themselves in a lot of danger facing Antifa, knowing that the police would not protect them, knowing that the media and all the parties and all the uh, government and state institutions are against them and the courts also don't do anything when they get hurt or injured. That was really no small feat. So they clearly demonstrated that they are true patriots and they care greatly for their fatherland. Now another point is in my previous video, that was the first video of mine in German actually, I warned people not to vote for the FDP. And now you can maybe see why. Because um, the FDP campaigns with modernization and a free market, somehow being the advocate of the very productive, very capable, very smart, high income people, so to speak. But uh, think about it, what did they get? Will they get these kind of policies enforced? No, hell no. They will get Angela Merkel together with the Green Party for crying out loud. So it will be like a church mom circle, you know? It will be more crazy environmentalism, more pathological altruism, higher taxes, more immigrants, um, more crime on the streets. We will see a lot of sexual assault. We will see murder. We will see actually attempts of genocide coming. Um, yeah, we will not see free market policies. We will not see lower taxes for the working men. No, no. We will see the onset of civil war actually in Germany. But at the same time, we have an AFD in the parliament with 13% yeah, of the vote, so almost 90 uh, members of parliament. And they can do at least um, what is in their power in order to inform the public and to really put the pressure, put the heat on the coalition. Or is the coolest politician in Germany with, I think, the most awesome necktie in the history of the Federal Republic. Alexander Gauland has stated it, wir werden sie jagen, we will hunt them. So all my friends abroad, I really appreciate your greetings and your wishes and your uh, notes of encouragement for the Patriots in Germany, but please don't forget when you compare those numbers, this turnaround with maybe the French elections or uh, with the people who voted for Donald Trump in the United States. Please don't forget we're talking about Germany here, one of the most cucked nations. We have now three generations here that were consecutively brainwashed by uh, Marxist ideologues and by New World Order agents. And of course it was the American government that started all this starting from 1945 in Germany. So of course everyone knows and our um, dear Wolfgang Schäuble has of course also said that in public that um, from 1945 onwards at no point in time has Germany ever been an independent nation. Yeah? So bear that in mind, all the media control, all the brainwashing that's going on, still I think 13% is a good start. It shows you guys that not all Germans are part of this Marxist hive mind. There are patriots that um, manage to deprogram themselves and um, to uh, honor their heritage and their ancestors and their nation again. So I see that as encouragement, I see that as a necessary first step into the right direction and I hope that um, after the struggles that lie ahead of us there might be a brighter future for all Germans once again. Of course I will keep you updated and please uh, comment and ask me stuff about what you want to know 
um, about the upcoming process of government formation or uh, what the future will bring for Germany in this context. All enjoy the rest of your Sunday and have a good start into the new week. As always, Servus, Kameraden!